Syrian government forces supported by Russian airspace forces reportedly eliminated the most battle-tested and well-armed unit of ISIS in the Euphrates River Valley last weekend. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, over 800 ISIS members, 13 battle tanks, 39 pickup trucks armed with large caliber machine guns, and 9 mortars and artillery guns were destroyed during the clashes near Ghanem Alawi village. The ministry added that the government forces are now advancing against ISIS along the Euphrates River. The Syrian Arab army and its allies took back Sapka and Ghanem al-Ali villages and continued developing momentum in order to retake the rest of areas near Ma'adan, seized by ISIS during its large attack last week, according to pro-government sources. The ISIS-linked news agency Amok claimed that the Russian airspace forces carried out over 100 airstrikes on ISIS positions in the southern Raqqa countryside over the weekend and claimed that about 50 SA servicemen were killed in an SVB IED attack. Reports have been circulating that at least 60 SA service members have been killed and about 300 others have been missing since the start of the ISIS counterattack in southern Raqqa. In central Syria, the SAA and its allies recaptured from ISIS the entire area north of Palmyra, liberating about 2,000 kilometers squared from the terrorist group. The SAA also seized the Syria Tel Hill, 30 kilometers east of Al Sukhna town, on the Al Sukhna Derazur highway, deploying in less than 75 kilometers away from Derazur city, besieged by ISIS. Meanwhile, clashes continued in the Ukairabad area, where another group of ISIS units has been encircled by the SAA. The SAA, Hezbollah, and the Lebanese armed forces got full control over Kalamun area at the Syrian-Lebanese border after ISIS had agreed to withdraw from it under a ceasefire deal. About 350 ISIS fighters and their families were set to be evacuated to Deir Zor. On Sunday, the Iraqi army and the popular mobilization units liberated the entire city of Tal Afar from ISIS in northern Iraq. Government forces also advanced in the Tal Afar countryside, liberating the villages of Al Alfliya, Kuitla, Kasser, Al Huruniya, Al Fu, Kabak, Al Alva Aliya, as well as Al Kis Camp, the Tal Afar gas station, and other nearby areas. The Joint Operations Command released a statement on Sunday claiming that government forces killed over 200 ISIS members as well as defused 105 IEDs and 15 booby-trapped houses. Meanwhile, Iraqi warplanes reportedly destroyed about 60 ISIS vehicles withdrawing from Tal Afar in the direction of al ayadiyya The army and the PMU will likely secure the entire Tal Afar pocket in the near future.